check out that buff dude over there with the orange skin. He's been chilling on Mars for a hot minute, which is why he looks like he used the wrong shade of self-tan. You see, all those carotenoids and carrots, sweet potatoes, bell peppers, tomatoes, and pumpkins are protecting him from those UV rays. The more he eats, the more orange he gets. And as for his sturdiness, it's all about that Martian gravity. The gravity here makes us perceive our weight differently. And if you want to be a boss on Mars, you gotta eat heavily. Like, if a person weighs 150 pounds on Earth, it feels like no more than 55 pounds on Mars. So, overeating can help shorten that gravity to weight gap. Mercury is a whole different thing. It's hotter than Georgia asphalt during the day, but colder than Elsa's castle at night. You gotta be made of metal with a high melting point to be able to survive here. But for us regular humans, we'd be toast. Literally. Even though Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, Venus is still the hottest one. Life on Venus, more like life on the sun's evil twin. The temperature here typically hovers around 870 degrees Fahrenheit on average. Surviving at the boiling point of water or in the extreme heat of Venus is a challenge for most earthly species. Only a select few can endure boiling hot temperatures. Others rush to Starbucks to grab an iced latte with the first beams of the spring sun. So no human being can really evolve enough to survive on Venus. The only creatures that could thrive there are probably tardigrades and those weirdos who put hot sauce on everything. You wonder what tardigrades are? Well, those are minuscule and adorable caterpillar-like creatures that possess remarkable durability. They can endure boiling water, the depths of a sea trench, and the frigid, lightless void of space. Recently, tardigrades were included in a scientific study aboard a spacecraft that unfortunately crashed on the moon. Scientists speculate that the tardigrades may have survived the impact. Hey, would you like to turn into this creature and live on Venus? We're done with terrestrial planets. Let's move on to gas giants. Now look at this dude from Saturn. He's got flippers and not arms. He's got small holes with no external ear flaps instead of regular ears. Most of this gas giant is colder than your ex's heart, as the temperature is about minus 220F. You can't walk on it, but you can turn into a snowball or an ice crystal if you're feeling frisky. Things are quite similar on Jupiter, so probably turning into a seal and chilling there is not that bad of an idea. At least you can live there rent-free. And don't even get me started on Neptune and Uranus. These guys are ice giants with no solid surface, so those sharp-clawed dudes you see in movies? Yeah, they don't exist. Plus, these two ain't exactly hospitable to life. I'll stick to my sweet potatoes on Mars. Thank you very much. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.